and the wife she swore, a quick shower and we'll think of this no more. But what the fuck is that knocking at the door? But this is the thing, I must admit, it's good to be king and no one says shit. You see, no one dare bear witness because they're all scared shitless. You see, I'm better than Matana El Sada. You better believe my version or leave. See, I blame it all on Duncan's sons. Now they're on the run whilst I'm having fun. There's only one thing though, my best mate Banquo. He's been on this since the get-go. He know too much. That fucker needs kicking into touch. So I get some murderers I've heard of, some wise guys to organize a drive-by. It's gotta be Banquo, bye-bye. Why? For my peace of mind. And then I find it's time to have a party and get all the smart set and players and aces and faces up in my place, snorting cocaine and drinking champagne. It's aces. No one dare face me or get facey. And then I hear that phone call's been wasted and I'm elated. But wait, what's this? Is someone taking the piss? Bancro's meant to be dead, so there he is, with a bullet wound in his head, and I start shouting, full of dread, and the wife, she said, you're meant to be the host with the most, not freaking every fucker out, shouting at some ghost, she gives a toast, and says to ignore him to me, tries to blame it on a kind of epilepsy, and the DJ, he plays a slow jam, I go and try and get with a program, I'm having another line of cocaine. Well, fuck me, there's Banquo again. And I'm saying, shake not that gory looks at me. I wasn't one of the three who did the deed. But although the wife, she pleads, there's no more pretending. The party is ending too soon. Everyone thinks I'm a loon. And the wife calls me a goon. And maybe I am going insane or snorting too much cocaine. Because there's only one thing on my brain. How long will my reign maintain? So I go and see the witches again and I'm saying, how now, you black secret and midnight hags? Tell me, you slags, how long will this go on? How long will my Beth be gangster number one? They say, don't worry, my Beth, my son. They say, no one can take my Beth down until that pub, the Burnham Wood, gets up and starts moving around town. I think sound. They say, no one can take my Beth out unless they didn't come out of a woman's womb, which I assume won't happen too soon. So once again, I'm over the moon, but now the wife's in the gloom. She's taken to walking about in the night with one candle light, trying to wash her hands white, fucking shite about blood. I wish she would not. They're my enemies. They start to plot. It's like an army they've got. Is my best bothered? No. I cannot get shot unless one of them's not from a woman's womb. And then I find out too soon. They found my wife with her veins open wide. Suicide. She died. She couldn't get the guilt out. She couldn't keep it inside. Out, out. Grief, candle. She couldn't handle it. Shit. Life's just an hour on the stage full of fury and rage until some fucker turns the page. And then story over. That's it. But let's all admit it doesn't mean shit. My enemies start to circle around and then they found that pub, the Burnham Wood, has been closed down and it's about to reopen on this side of town. Then some tough called my duck starts acting rough. I said, you think you can take me off? You're wrong. You must have balls bigger than King Kong unless you're the one who's not from a woman's vagina. He says, I think you'll find you. I was born by Caesarean. Now I'm the scary one. And he pulls out his gun and I say lay on and then bang, 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 Macbeth is done. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, we were conformed, this is our last one. I think they do have a dance license in here if you want to dance, freak out, go wild. Please feel free, it's Saturday night. Yeah. Let's get down to the, 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 let's get down to the nitty gritty. There's something going wrong in this fucking city. Deptford, Peckham, Brixton, listen, there's a pernicious addiction causing friction. You've been washing up, but not in the kitchen. Wheeler dealers are putting out feelers. Real soul stealers are making the scene. Mean streets, dead beats, a beating, not working, not eating. Drug highs are fleeting. Hobby bobbies chase 
robbers who are bobbing and weaving. People complain about gentrification, but decent people are leaving. There's too much thieving and scheming and skiving and conniving. We should be thriving like a bird in flight, but we're being brought down by the brown and the white. Because that's right, every night you've been sucking on a crack pipe and she's been sucking on a crack pipe and they've been sucking on a crack pipe and he's been sucking on a crack pipe too bad no rehab for you you got some rocks in then some rocks in then some rocks in then some rocks in now you've reached rock bottom your wife's spotting you've forgotten what life was like when it wasn't rotten you're not in your right state of mind you had a line and then a pipe and then a fucking dig you greedy fucking pig you're not living big you live small you do fuck all i mean you call yourself a rock star ah, that's not what you are you smoke crack you're a crack head i mean it said is it true that there's you university class users you fucking losers you abuse abusers you're not socially excluded but you choose to cruise where pimps are up and holes are down you fucked around downtown and that's the scene you found i'm bound to say Fuck off, back to your mums in Middle England or Middle Earth or wherever you're from. You hum, drum, stumble, bum. You flaky, flunky, you fucking white monkey, you fucking junkie. Get the fuck off of me. You're not Pete Dockety. See, when you went on about your drugs, hell, fucking hell. I can tell your PhD went well. You smell, and I can tell that you've been sucking on a crack pipe and she's been sucking on a Crack pipe and they've been sucking on a crack pipe and he's been sucking on a crack pipe. What about you? You were my mate. We grew up on the same estate. And I think of all the drugs we ate, but we could always relate to living. Now you're giving in to a craving for oblivion. I know you were brought up in the school of hard knocks. You took some shocks on the block, but you used to be solid us. Now you're sucking on a rock. I wish you please stop. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I know, posh kids are off their tips on bits of cocaine and it's the same dealers that get paid. There is no fair trade cocaine. So Buenos Aires is kind of scary and various third world places leaves traces of human lives and faces and these lives and lives of cocaine. It's always the same. Poor people's lifestyles taking the blame. Professional classes, names don't get names. Oh, I don't give a talk about Kate Moss or any of that celebrity dross. I'm saying what is the cost to my street when a middle class elite think that cocaine is a neat, sweet, hearty treat. Whilst dealers fight wars and whores so cop for what? One rock? Stop! Shock! Cultural insiders and media providers are snidey imbibers of lines and lines of cocaine. Hey, you're a fucking cliche, but I don't suppose someone who's had so much glucose up their nose is really bothered by insults like those. Cause you've been sniffing on a white line and she's been sniffing on a white line and they've been sniffing on a white line and he's been sniffing on a white line. Fine, you could have been the next Michelangelo, but you ain't though. Oh no, cause you work for an advertising company, don't you though? And you snort loads of snow and you go to Mexico where you think you're Al Pacino because you call it blow. You're so sophisticated and then you wonder why you're hated. Have I stayed? It's overpriced and overrated. Am I being a squealer? If I reveal, you look down on your dealer. Fuck that. He's your master. He calls you. Run faster. That bit you've got won't last. I mean, white lines don't do it. But fuck me, man. You could go through it. You had a big lump and you blew it. You chew it like a squirrel on crack. It's not a black or a white thing. It's just London swings on a big chain with links to cocaine. Now you're ambling around various London bars You think you're handling things And cocaine dealers are pandering to your every whim But for years, motherfucker, you've been snorting thin Ask him, cause he's been sucking on a crack pipe And she's been sucking on a crack pipe And they've been sucking on a crack pipe And I've been sucking on a what a cigarette and a pint And I know it ain't right to tell you what to do Fuck you, sniff glue
if you really want to, but when the cold, icy hand of death is clutching your heart, and with your last breath, you still say yes. I had some more lines, I was going to put some more in, but I tell you what, it's too fucking boring. <laughs> Give a big hand to Jack Blackburn and the performance. With a, an infamous Eddie Real and the Cajun. And that's some hardcore lyrics here. Yeah? Because love is all about in its various forms. And this man loves all the people. You get me? But he has to speak the truth. Bit like me, bit like you. You know what I'm saying? And that's an inspiration about real people love. Speak the truth. Eat each other's cum. But speak the truth. Yeah? So we are going to party. I'm going to have my brethren come up and do a couple of poems now. In a bit. We're going to set up the music for me. I'm Baba Luck. I'm doing a, an hour set with a variety of people. And I want you to enjoy because it it's unofficial, it's underground. And I will not be selling out. There will be absolutely no compromise. Equal rights and justice, yes. So we come out with that with a Valentine blessing. And we try and enjoy that. So we'll be up there. And Carl Chamberlain is going to do a, something pornographic poetry for you. <laughs> 